Right. I'm gonna get one of them, Ben, so we can try it. Okay? And I'm gonna get myself milk. Sorry, mate. Um, you vlogging? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just. Uh, you vlogging as well? We're both yeah, vloggers. Yeah. I don't think you need more vlogging then. <laughs> Do you know something? That rubbish has been there for two days. <laughs> Hiya mate! <laughs> Hi, good morning from Edinburgh. Hi mate. Hello, how's it going? Yeah, so today we got <clears throat> we kind of got like a, a loose plan of what we got planned. Um, but first off we're gonna go to a place called about that guys I hit my arm on this fence and it turned the camera off so the first place we're gonna go to is a place called oink oink it's a like it's like a pulled pork place um and then we're planning on going to Carlton Hill and then we've got a ghost tour lake down we're just gonna go with the flow you know we're just gonna go with the flow see how it all goes and hopefully bring you some amazing content yeah so if you are enjoying the content so far guys don't forget to like and subscribe uh, we do have loads of content already on the channel and hopefully today is going to be no different and we shall have a blast! We are exploring a part of Edinburgh we're probably not allowed to go into because yes. we're naughty No, it just leaves someone's back garden oh. It's one of the most annoying things but it's also one of the most amazing things about Edinburgh Every street looks really cool to explore so we just come from this street um, and we just embarked on this one. Now we could go that way, but we do want to go this way. But look how cool it is. Man, Edinburgh's amazing. How very interesting. Some Edinburgh art. Hi, mate. Spot a whiskey, sir? No, thank you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, Harry Potter was actually written in. Edinburgh, and as you can see, it does look like Hogwarts. Man, this is awesome. It's gone again. I just seen him turn around. He's like, "What the hell is he doing now?" That's the thing with me. See, I just stop and vlog. Um, yeah, so we're currently walking down the, the street here now. Uh, we're looking for Oink. We know it's down one of the side streets. But that street there is where we had breakfast yesterday. So now we're going to go down here. We're going to go and get some Oink, and you're going to come along with us, and you're going to enjoy. Well, you're going to see. It's basically. Well, you see, you see. But the thing with Edinburgh, right? In the day, it looks completely different to what it is in the night. When you're in the night, it's like a completely different city, which is which is amazing. You know, you can see again like two cities for the price of one. Look at this. It's a bank. How cool that looks. So, Oink is by there. Ben is giving me a very very bad look. Ah, oh, shut. It's shut. It looks like, it's like under the, oh, that building is all the way back there. It's like the street dropping down, I think. Okay. We're going on an adventure! <laughs> Let's go. Guys, we will be showing you Oink! <laughs> How do you know you're in Edinburgh without saying you're in Edinburgh? I don't know if you can hear it on the phone actually. But it's a bagpipe player. If you didn't guess. So Ben's taking us up the stairs. <sighs> All this walking. Pretty nice view, but it's gotta be done. It's gotta be done if we wanna get to, to Oink. Uh, uh, let's go. Uh, come to Edinburgh to feast and uh, end up doing loads of exercise and lose a weight. Win win. Well, the good news is, I survived the steps. The bad news is, you've got to go back down some more, which is the worst. Ben, where you going, Ben? We found it, finally. After trekking across the whole of Edinburgh. Ooh, what do you reckon, Ben? <coughs> I'm sorry, mate, I just want to eat. <laughs> yes. So you order it. 
you pick what size meat you want, put bread, stuff in, and your sauce. Easy peasy. Hi, anyway, can I please get a um, uh, grunter meal deal, please? Haggis or sage and onion? Uh, sage and onion, please. Tried haggis yesterday, was not, not a fan. <laughs> Any sauce? Uh, can I barbecue sauce if that's okay? Barbecue? Yeah. Yes, please. Any sage and onion or haggis? Uh, no, don't Just meat. Barbecue sauce. Mustard mayonnaise? Did you say some crackling? Meat. Yes, meat. please. Meat and, meat and barbecue. Yeah. Uh, mayonnaise. Okay. Would you like crisps or what, sorry? Oh, I'll have a shortbread, please. Here we go. I remember the shortbread. What do you go for crisps? Or? Shortbread. Yeah, cool. Oh man, look at this, guys. Oh wow. That oh, looks amazing. Right, first things first though. The most important crackling. Oh my god. That is phenomenal. Did you try that? Oh my god, it's perfect. Amanda will be very jealous of this. This one has bits of barbecue sauce on it. This one has barbecue sauce on it. The meat. Oh man. Mm. <laughs> what was that, Ben? Mm. Yeah, guys, I wish you could like taste what, what this would taste like. Bread. Thank you. Blocking. Blogger, blogger. This is amazing. Amazing. And this is the a pig. You could have had crisps or a bread, uh, this, and I went with this. I think it's a pig, anyway. Yeah, it's so only the crisps for like cattle chips. Mm hmm. Not a panic. So this is Scottish shortbread, which apparently is the best shortbread in the world. Crunching it, like mm. really instant crunch. Very buttery. <coughs> so like whenever you see shortbread, it's always got a Scottish flag on. Mm. Because that's where it's from. It? That's, the that's really, one. really nice. That's right, yeah. Proper, Do you it? know what? That might have been nice in the hog sandwich. What the shortbread? Yeah. <laughs> so, how was that? It was nice. Um, a lot of meat. Two, well, approximately 250 grams of meat. Is a lot of meat. Um, could have had a bit more barbecue sauce like on the inside, like on the bun. Because when it was all over the top, it was amazing. But when you get through that, it's just meat, which is like fine. But I would prefer a bit more. Oi, not more barbecue sauce, but sp like, spread it out as opposed to whacking it all on the top. I think I wouldn't notice so much meat because it was quite a lot of meat and it was quite filling. Yeah, did you have the bread to as well? I had the middle one. Oh, the middle one? Mm -hmm. oh. Damn. What's that smell? It stinks of milk. I've like, gone yeah. off milk. Anyway. That was that. That was Oink in Edinburgh. Yes. And now we're going to go down this... Well, you're going to come with us. Shut up. So I'm going to show you a street, right? And I want you to tell me, or well, put in the comments, what it looks like a little bit. Well, if you don't know Harry Potter, you're not going to get it. Basically, it's Diagon Alley. It's uh, where, where, where J.K. Rowling was inspired for the the, the Diagon Alley. Because she, she writ, which I've told you, she writ um, Harry Potter in Edinburgh. We've got like a cool Harry Potter shop there, which I'm gonna go and have a look into and just see what's around the corner. Ben's still hungry after our hog roast, but um, yeah, we're just gonna go check this street out, see what's at the bottom there. I believe this is Old Town now. You're a wizard, Harry. You're not, you're not coming in for Harry Potter? Huh? Don't wanna come see Harry Potter stuff? Oh, it's a pet friendly shop as well, you can bring your dog in here. Harry Potter! 
sure you want to grab. How do you feel, Ben? Welcome on Diagon Alley, the real Diagon Alley. Pretty cool. I mean, I like Harry Potter. I'm not like a huge, huge, yeah. massive fan. I just watched it. It's cool. <laughs> I like Harry <laughs> Potter. <laughs> oh man, it's just it's amazing, isn't it? So we're exploring Old Town, and there's the smallest pub in Scotland there. Scooby Doo Cafe. Um, yeah, so this is Old Town, I think. We've got like loads of pubs and little delis and stuff like that. The buildings look so cool, though. It looks very cool here. They're called The Last Drop, and it's got gallows in the window. Let's have a little looky. It's got like a little thing. A little mark here. The Last Drop is situated on the Grassmaker, which is one of Edinburgh's main marketplaces. Formed under 14 something. Around 1660, the grass market became a noted place for public executions. The hangings continued on almost daily basis until the 4th of February, 1784. The last person being James Andrews, a robber, last drop is said to be a reference to the last drink taken by prisoners before they were hanged, but likely to be rather more grim reference to their own last drop through the scaffold trap door. I just lit spoke to the lady in that place and I was like, oh, you know, is there any, is there, you know, I've read the history of the place. Um, is it in here where they've been executed? And there's no, it was right by here. And I'll show you now, it's all fenced off. But this is where the people were hanged. In this way, so people would come around here to watch people being hanged. Madness. So this is the spot here. People will come around to watch. We'll be hanged. Crazy, absolutely crazy. Oh, you are, says yes. On the floor. The last person to be hanged from the grass market gallows was James Andrew on the 4th of February 1784. That's by a. I know Cardiff got a bit of history with hangings and stuff, but they don't openly say, yeah, this is where this person got hanged. You know, they just like. Keep it all secret. But Edinburgh just don't care. Which is a good thing actually because the history is awesome. And going around seeing this kind of history is exciting. Oh well, look at this, this is the oldest pub. Have you seen our ghost haunted since 1516? Ooh. I swear I'm having a little look in there. I'm tracking having a little look we're around with Ben. Ben's gone that way, I don't know where he's gone. Um, I'm going to have a little look in there, see if I can see a ghost. Let's have a look then, is there? I was a lot smaller than what I expected, so it was really awkward me walking in there with a the camera. But, um, you know, you get to see the oldest pub in Scotland. One of the most awkwardest things in the world, right, when you go in and there's people just sitting there, mind your own business, having a drink, and I got the camera in their face. It seemed really quick, but it was just really awkward for me. So that's why I was in and out. Whoa. All the history here. Amazing. And check this out, Mary's Milk Bar. Apparently, it's an ice cream place that does all weird different flavours of ice cream. How could you not want to go there? There's a little bistro there, but Ben can get his sandwich. The Fiddler's Arms. So these are the flavours. Look, we've got milk, dark chocolate, salted caramel, toffee apple, salty licorice, coconut, plum and nutmeg, coconut hazelnut and vegan. Goat cheese and peach and pistachio. Right. I'm gonna get one of them, Ben, so we can try it. Okay? And I'm gonna get myself milk. Sorry, mate. Um, you vlogging? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just. Uh, you vlogging as well with both yeah, vloggers? <laughs> I don't think you knew what vlogging meant. <laughs> just taking a picture. You get any? 
Yeah. There's a, a bistro over there. Maybe we can go in there and grab um, uh, a sandwich. Uh, can I come in? Yeah. Cool. Hi there. Can I please try one of your milk ice creams and one of your goat cheese and peach? That together in the no, can I have two separate, please? Cups cool? And cups, please. Anything else? No, that's everything. Thank you, my love. He's running. Everyone's running from the rain, and I'm just sat in here eating ice cream. So we got two flavors. The first flavor we got. Goat, goat cheese and peach. Mmm. It's milk. No, I, I, that's going to be nice. The first one we're going to try is this. It wasn't that much, I think it was like 350 a scoop or 250 a scoop. Here we go. Goat cheese and peach. Do you know what? That is amazing. It doesn't taste like cheese. It tastes like cheesecake. I bought two because I didn't think it was gonna be nice, so I thought it would be like cheese flavour. That is amazing. Wow. Hey mate. <laughs> so this is regular milk ice cream. Um, that is the best ice cream I've ever tasted. Much better than Ben and Jerry's. Much, much better than Ben and Jerry's. See now the problem I have, this one, even though it tastes amazing and delicious, doesn't taste as nice as that one because it's just milk, it's just plain. But that one has loads of flavour. I'm going to try and eat this first before Ben turns up. Because um, I want Ben to taste it. I don't know where he is. Can I see him on the camera? No, he's gone into one of these delis to get himself a sandwich. Right, so Ben is going to now taste the goat's cheese oh, and peach. It's amazing, you know. It's amazing. Not as too bad. So it's uh, Scotland. So it's gonna rain. I hope my phone is waterproof. Um, we're just waiting. The Ben's just got some more food. Um, he's got a waffle and he's got a waffle and a milkshake. Just waiting for him. He's just gone in there. It's raining. Yeah, he need them, bro. <laughs> what you get? So, so I got a bueno milkshake. And a bubble waffle with chocolate and flake. I mean, that looks amazing. <laughs> oh my god. What's the verdict, Ben? Nice. What you got? Chocolate waffle? Yeah, it's a chocolate waffle. The flake. There's a flake somewhere in there. There's a flake there. Mmm, yeah, it's very nice. Very nice. Yeah. It's an ice cream? Yeah. So one of the best parts of this old town is this year, basically when you get to the end, um, I don't know if there's anything more down there, but have a look at this, the castle, not awesome, looks like Hogwarts, Harry Potter, <laughs> some more information on the grass market, So this here is the grass market. So these will be markets here and executions. <laughs> wow, what a, what a place. Let me eat. Let me eat. Let me eat. I think you've eaten enough then. I thought I eat a lot. <laughs> this is the other end of Old Town. It just, I just I'm gonna stand in the middle of the road now and take a picture. But it just looks amazing. Have a look at this now. I can get there without dying. Well, we're over there to the bridge. Man, it looks awesome, doesn't it? Yeah. Now, you're talking to someone, right, who gets excited at Newport architecture. Look at this. Man, it's just it's amazing. Yeah, I'm blown away by Edinburgh architecture. He turned around, did he? 
It's funny, it's like a one way system. I thought you were coming around, so I spun on the corner. There's a woman who goes, It's just amazing. It's amazing that like, someone has built that. Oh man, look at this. Attacked by an umbrella. It's like being in New York. We're doing an explore. The gate is it? It's down here. It's a nightclub. Yeah. Another very peculiar building. This vlog is just all buildings, but guys. It's amazing, it's history, it's exciting. And you get it all for free and you get to swatch it because it's, it's pissing down. It's raining, cats and dogs are in Scotland and we're just exploring and it's awesome. That's all it's all about, isn't it? Anyway, mate, just exploring and finding the unwalked path. Well, I see the unwalked path, loads of people walk down here, but it just looks really dodgy. It'd be cool to walk down here at night, wouldn't it? It'd be a bit dodgy. Yes. 